from, cowboy? I'm hungry. I could eat the <laughs> out of a rhinoceros. Would you like some cowboy soup? Can you make some cowboy soup? I'll be right back. Hi everyone, it's Christy here. It's kind of a cold, yucky, dreary day here. We're out getting the, the tail end of the hurricane. Uh, Laura, I believe, that just came through. And so I thought it'd be a great day to make some soup. Actually, I was talking to my daughter and she reminded me as a child, she loved this soup and it kind of got my wheels to turn in to thinking, how can I make that plant-based whole food? Because nearly everything in it already was, I just had to tweak a few things. Um, it's called cowboy soup. Some people call it taco soup. It's got a little few twists than a regular taco soup. Um, so let's get started. Um, this recipe, I had to tweak it a little bit from the original. Um, you actually brown ground beef with an onion and um, can't do that when you're plant-based whole food. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of vegetable broth, put it in a pot. And then to it, I'm going to add one chopped onion. And just like, because um, our ground beef substitute is already cooked. So this is just to soften the onions for a few minutes. Um, you're almost, it's almost like steaming them, really. So you just put the lid on, stir it every bit. If you don't have vegetable broth, um, you can use, um, which you should have vegetable broth. But if you don't, you can just use water. It's the same effect. Um, let that cook. Just a few minutes and we'll come back to it. So as you can see now, um, the onions have softened, translucent a little bit. This recipe was great when my kids were young because it's literally just like open and dump. A little bit more work involved in it when you're plant-based whole food, but here we go. Um, we have our plant-based ground beef we made. About a pound of that is left. And we're just going to dump this in there with the onions. Break it up some. You can see that it's just kind of just looks like ground beef. And then to that, you're going to add a can of black beans, no salt at it. Um, we leave the juice in all of these, the liquid in all of these, because that's going to be the liquid for our soup. So it's a can of black beans, a can of pinto beans. My wooden spoon's too big for some of these cans. A can of dark red kidney beans, or light red, whichever. My store only had dark red, so, you know, did you can. Um, a can of Rotel. And a can of diced tomatoes. Now, we always have the fire roasted diced tomatoes in our house, so we can just be... Um, the fire roasted or the regular diced tomatoes. Mix that puppy all up. Now here's the tricky part. The original recipe called for one package of taco seasoning and one package of dry ranch mix. Um, I did find a recipe to make a vegan dry ranch mix, um, but I could not find today uh, powdered soy milk. I'd have to order it online, and I haven't tried that recipe yet, so probably not going to make a video until I try it and taste it first. So I just went to the store, went to two stores actually, and just read a whole bunch of packages and found um, a taco seasoning mix and a dry ranch mix that did not contain any milk or eggs or no mamas and daddies. Dump a package of each of those in. And then mix it up. 
So there's no milk, no eggs, no oil, no meat, and any of this. As you can see, it looks delish. So, you're just gonna bring it to a boil, and then you're gonna reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And honestly, this soup um, is better the next day because the flavors kind of sit and get all happy, happy, happy. Um, you can eat it with uh, some some vegan sour cream, some vegan cheddar cheese, if y'all are into that. Um, a lot of like Frito, Tostitos, corn chips, um, tortilla style chips. You can find some that uh, meet that criteria. But there you go. Plant-based whole food cowboy soup. Thanks. Well, thanks for the soup, lady. Now, how's about some dessert? Have a, have a.